Hey y'all, how we doing? This is Austin with Big Time Pools. Today we have the Dusk Till Dawn Flesh and Blood set that just came out. Uh, they were in pre-releases last week. I think it officially came out last Friday. And quite a few good pools in this set. Um, there's a lot of Marvel cards. I know the Levia, hopefully I'm saying that, that name right, Levia Redeemed. That Marvel card goes for quite a bit of money. And then they also introduced uh, numbered cards. So there's two, there's Chain and there's Prism, uh, numbered 0 through 10 um, that you can find. And they're like artist proofs. So it has like the normal card on the front and on the back it's like um, art, an artist proof. And it's numbered. X out of 10. Uh, so I'm gonna pull all these packs real quick. Then we'll go ahead and get started on opening these. So I've only ever did one other flesh and blood video and um, it did really well, but I've recently started playing flesh and blood. I know me, my older brother, and then a couple of my other buddies played uh, like a four player free for all draft. And I think it was with Uprising and it was really cool. So hopefully I can get more into it, but here we go. We have our commons, we have our first rare and that is a uh, foil, rainbow foil. Okay, so remember if you, if you don't remember uh, there's two different types of foiling with this. There's rainbow foil, which you, I mean, it's just like typical foiling. And then there's cold foil, which is always really nice. So we have another rare. So our first rare is Grim Feast. Then we have V for Valor. Then we have Blessing of Salvation. So this set, I believe, is like a supplemental set for Monarch. So it's giving more um, support for those, which I believe was Prism and... Rune or it's Prism and Chain, I'm pretty sure, are the two main ones. I believe that there's some Bolton uh, cards in here as well. So here's our commons. So we have another V for Valor, and then we have a Majestic Surgical Extraction, which this is actually, I actually saw somebody talking about this. This is actually out of the Dynasty set, but they accidentally short printed this um, card, and so they short printed it in this set as well and so if you're new to flesh and blood the c is obviously for common the r is for rare the m is for majestic and then you have the um, l is for legendary f is for fabled which if we pull any legendary or fabled cards i will definitely let you know about it so here we have a rainbow foil um, common we have a rare is deathly whale and then we have hungering Demigon. So each one of these boxes comes with 24 packs. So hopefully I can start moving a little bit quicker than I have been. All right, there, there's a, a Blessing of Salvation. That's a rainbow foil rare. We have Lay to Rest. And then we have War Tune Herald, which is also a rare. Uh, one thing that I do love about Flesh and Blood is the art. The art is just absolutely amazing. And uh, hopefully y'all can get a good look at some of these cards. All right, so we have a Rainbow Foil Majestic Spirit of War. Then we have a Cold Foil Common Shroud of Darkness. Then we have a Rare Breaming Bravado. I'm actually gonna keep the Cold Foil just right below it. Um, I'm not sure on a lot of these prices. I know there's one card called like Imperium, Imperium Rupture. And then there's one card that's like Iron Song something or other. Um, I should have researched this a little bit more before I just kind of dove right in. I bought two boxes of this. Obviously it's the first box. So our first rare is Cleansing Light. And we have a Majestic Lumina Lance, which is a light attack. 
um, reaction. But yeah, whenever me and my buddies were playing it, I played a ninja. I think the guy that was horizontal to me played a ninja. And then the, uh, my brother played um, a wizard, ice wizard. And then the guy that was right next to me played, um, oh, that's a sweet foil. The guy that was right next to me played like a dragon something or other. So we have a rainbow foil, hungering demigon. We have a rare Vile Inquisition, and then we have a rare fr uh, Frontline Plating. I ended up being the first one out. I feel like I was doing a lot of damage, though. It was, it was really cool. Uh, so we have our commons. Our first rare is Ram Raider. We have another Vile Inquisition. Uh, as for prices, I said the the Levia Redeemed, that Marvel, I think is going for around like $800. Um, obviously, the numbered cards are going... Oh, I'm not even on the screen. Sorry about that. The numbered cards are going for... I've seen people trying to sell them for 50,000, uh, 50, but there's no telling. So we have Vile, Vile Inquisition and Deadly Whale. There's no telling what... Um, they're honestly going for or like what they've sold for. I just saw it on Facebook. So we have our commons. We have a rainbow foil common right there. So our first rare is cleansing light. And we have a majestic banneret of courage. Um, there's a couple of Marvel cards that are really good in this set. And y'all might be able to hear my dog in the in the background barking. So we have our commons. We have another banneret of resilience. Then we have a deadly or deathly delight. Uh, also in this set, there's a lot of like marvels. So I talked about the Levia Redeemed Marvel, but there's some Majestics and I think a couple of legendaries that have Marvel. And if you pull any of those, it's like big time. There's another rainbow foil. So we have Envelop in Darkness. And Banneret of Resilience as our two rares for that one. And the Marvel cards are actually marked with like, so you see down here you have the the circle with the C in it. So that's common, obviously. And then the Marvels are marked with a, a triangle. Oh, that is sweet. That is a common, but look at that foiling. That is awesome. Uh, rare is Shaden. Scream and then envelop in darkness. So far, I don't think we've gotten anything just too crazy. I think the Spirit of War foil was probably the the best one, but I'm not 100% sure on the pricing of that. So we have Lay to Rest and then V for Valor. We have pulled three or four of those V for Valors. So commons. Our first rare is Grim Feast, and we have another Deathly Whale. Uh, we are coming to the end of these packs. Hopefully, I can kind of see them sticking around up in the top right. I'm just pulling from random piles, so I'm gonna have to make a new common stack after this one. So our first rare is Banneret of Vigor. And then envelop in darkness. Um, one good thing, I know, I obviously I do a lot of Magic the Gathering um, opening stuff. And I've, obviously I played a lot. So this seems, or like Flesh and Blood seems a lot cheaper to get into. Uh, I know all the boxes, except for the, like the really early ones that had like really low print numbers. Um... They all go for about 87 or something like that. I actually got these from a place called Stomping Grounds TCG and I bought the box for 87 and then I got like a $17 um, gift card to their place. But here we have Vile Inquisition, Rare Rainbow Foil. I'll put that right there. Then we have Blessing of Salvation. Then we have Rugged Roller, which is a brute club or a brute weapon. 
Yeah, a lot cheaper to get into. The art's really cool. And then it's, to me, it's similar to, I guess, Commander because you have like the one hero, but it's different, obviously, because you like outfit that hero, if that makes sense. That is a sweet art. You kind of outfit that uh, the hero that you're playing with flesh and blood and uh, with different equipments and stuff like that. So we have Beaming Bravado and Envelop in Darkness. So we have about six packs right here left. And we'll see how it goes. So far, no Marvels. We've had a couple of Majestics. And we haven't pulled a Legendary either. If you pull a Legendary, you basically make your money back. All right, Rainbow Foil, Alluring Inducement. And that's a Majestic. We have another Grim Feast. So I'm going to put the foil right here. And then we have a Ram Raider. Okay, we got about five packs left. Packs are way easier to open for this too. So they used to do first edition boxes, but now they have um, broken it down to where they just do like just plain boxes. Here's, here's one of the heroes. So Sir Bolton, Breaker of Dawn. So you can see he's a light warrior hero. And then obviously you can read kind of what his ability does. So you would get warrior equipment and stuff like that. I'm actually going to put him right there. Uh, you get warrior equipment, you can attach it to him. And then you have like combat chains. Uh, and that's kind of how you play the game. There's a foil break of dawn. We have brimming bravado and wall breaker as our two rares. Here we go with our commons. Okay, there's a foil celestial resolve common. We have shade and scream and lost in thought. Lost in thought is a majestic right there. No legendary so far. No fabled. Fabled's typically go run for about like two hundred to three hundred dollars, depending on the set. Obviously. It just kind of depends on how good the card is. Look at that art. The foiling on these cards are just so much better than Magic's foiling. That is a common though. And we have V for Valor again and Blessing of Salvation. So we got two more packs. Last time I opened up a Flesh and Blood box on the very last card, I hit like a thousand dollar card. Uh, there's Bolton again, so you can see here there, there's the young version, and then there's like the, I don't know what you want to call it, the normal version, I guess. The young versions are typically just a little bit more, uh, or they're like quicker to get through the games. So you have De uh, Deathly Whale, and that's a rainbow foil. And then we had Deathly Delight, and we have a Majestic Radiant Force Field. All right, last pack right here. Looking for a legendary, a marvel, or a fabled. We'll see what happens. So we have commons. Resounding courage is our foil common. And we have a ram raider and lum uh, luminaris celestial fury. So that was this box. I believe the best ones were probably spirit of war and alluring inducement. But like I said. Haven't really looked up all the prices for these. I know that we didn't get any of the big pulls though. But hope y'all check out Flesh and Blood. And if you do, let me know in the comments how you uh, how you enjoy it, how you like it, how do your friends like it, all that kind of stuff. But I'll see you next time. Big time pulls.